Hello, I'm Sloane Silverspar, and welcome to the UW Oshkosh College of Nursing Virtual World. Campus within Second Life, I'm standing in front of a rendition of our Pollock Alumni House, where our accelerated BSN students and faculty, represented by avatars such as I, hold class sessions, faculty student office hours, engage in synchronous chats for class exercises. Within our virtual campus, there are classrooms, faculty offices, a library, a student welcome center, a public health office area complete with simulated community subdivision called Titanville, and a plane crash disaster scenario for triage training. At least 15 nursing faculty and academic staff and three cohorts of accelerated nursing students have avatars and supplement their coursework by participating and utilizing this immersive experiential virtual learning environment. Let's go inside and have a look at where we hold some of our virtual class sessions and chats. And here is one of the many rooms where our students gather for their aforementioned activities within our virtual campus. Now let me quickly teleport over to our next area of interest. Hello again. Woo! What a ride that was! As our work within this simulated world continues, we are currently taking our project to the next level where in collaboration with Movers LLC, we have built a virtual clinic and virtual hospital and are introducing robotic avatars whom are scripted to simulate patient care scenarios that students will encounter in their nursing practice. The student's avatar will interact and perform interventions on the robotic avatar, and the robotic, robotic patient avatar will respond accordingly. These patient care simulations can be used by the students asynchronously with feedback related to right and wrong choices, and sites are being developed for review of proper intervention. The possibilities for nursing student and robotic patient avatar interactions are limitless and can simulate conditions that may, no, check that will occur in clinical practice for which prompt and correct interventions can prevent grave consequences, such as in the case of a patient myocardial infarction, shock, hemorrhage, cerebral vascular accidents, and so forth. Remember, the recent landing by the Sully and the Hansen, Hudson? A miracle maybe, but more likely due to the constant preparation and repetition of simulation training experience. As we are seeing with this modern serious gaming technology that can reproduce lifelike simulations in virtual worlds. Most nursing students say that they best learn when they actually do something, indicating they often prefer experiential learning. Virtual environments offer many advantages for nursing education. The clinical environment can be realistically simulated providing these virtual experiences that nursing students may encounter in the clinical setting which are high risk and low volume thus enhancing safety in patient care. For this can and will be the opportunity to practice repeatedly rare but life-threatening patient situations without harm to real-life patients. Thus, active learning takes place, immediate or summary feedback can be given for both correct and incorrect actions, errors can be corrected, and consistent experiences can be reproduced for all students. Our work here within Second Life is in its infancy and is being found to be innovative and a vitally important link within our program because it introduces faculty and students to immersive education technology which is now and will continue to revolutionize online education. 
meeting the needs of the current media savvy generations now and yet to come. I thank you for visiting with us today and please visit secondlife.com for further information.